Terry Sweeney with Light Reading, coming to you live from Meth 19 in downtown Los Angeles. I'm joined now by Ari Banerjee with Netcracker Technology. Ari, appreciate you stopping by to talk. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Um, the word on everybody's lips, SD-WAN. It's sure it is. super competitive and uh, obviously very happening. Let's start, if you wouldn't mind, by talking about how service providers can essentially increase the overall value that they bring to SD-WAN in this highly competitive market? It's a very good question. I think SD-WAN as a technology, we are seeing a rapid growth. Um, if you look at any analyst report, any sure. market forecast, really good growth. But operators still have a lot to do when it has to differentiate how they provide SD-WAN offering for enterprise and for SMB customers. Um, there are a number of reasons for that, right? Because you don't need to be an operator to provide an SD-WAN service to the enterprise. An SD-WAN vendor can directly go to the enterprise themselves. Sure. So the operators need to have something to make this much more attractive and differentiate themselves and stand out from the crowd. So what we see, uh, working with most of our largest operators in the world, there are three major things they need to take care of. One, there is a lack of automation in the entire SD-WAN space, that's one. Second, how can they make it much more attractive and sticky with their enterprise customers? What else do they need to bring with that? Uh -huh. And third, is how they can go deep into the enterprise accounts. What else do they need to bring in from unevaluated services and applications and so on? I see. What advantages do telcos have over other kinds of service providers in the SD-WAN space? What's your sense there? So, if you step back a little bit, and you look at all enterprise and SMB, most of them depend on operator for connectivity services. Okay. And for connectivity, it's typically always the operators, right? Now, on top of that, you're saying SD-WAN. So, if SD-WAN becomes part of a broader bundle, that's what operators provide, then it could be a differentiator. Now, if you're providing SD-WAN just as a silo, then there is really no differentiation, because I can buy that from the operator, or I can directly buy it from an SD-WAN vendor. Now, if I bring in, to, as an operator, if I bring together voice, video, data, connectivity services, value-added applications, you know, cloud, SaaS services, all of that, and also SD-WAN as part of the bundle, it's attractive because now you can provide better rates to them. Sure. You can probably provide a cross-product discount to them. You can provide different type of initiatives, you know, incentives to them based on their lifetime value, based on things, um, you know, based on their consumption patterns and things okay. like that. So much more broader differentiating discount elements um, and things like that, incentives. Right, but Which it's not just it? basic upselling, it's, it's upselling it, with, then it with becomes an upsell. Then exactly, it becomes an upsell. It just doesn't become one service I'm selling as SD-WAN, but it's part of the overall bundle, or overall, you know, uh, the plethora of services that they're providing, and provide the different upsell, cross-sell opportunities for them. Okay. That tends to be more stickier than providing just a siloed way of providing an SD-WAN. Okay. Automation is a big challenge, right? Because Always. now, you are not, you, 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 if you are scaling, if you have a 10 or 100 sites, it's not a problem. If you're scaling into thousands of sites, and if it's a very manual process driven, and you have you know, normal scripting to be able to do that, it's just not going to scale. So, so with that in mind, don't telcos still need to make some changes on the back Absolutely. end to Absolutely. take advantage of all these The these existing operations, their existing operation systems is not completely fully geared to bring this seamless automation that I'm talking about in the context of SD-WAN. So there are things they need to do. They need to evolve their automation platforms or OSS or operations platform, make it more distributed, make it more microservices driven, more cloud native. Your OSS system also, or operation system, need to be multi-layer because your, your SD-WAN is going to ride on top of your MPLS or your broadband or it could be any other underlay. How do you do the traffic steering? How do you stitch it together to create that automated experience? That's also an OSS functionality. Now, if you take it a little step ahead, there's going to be a multi-access edge or MEC or edge cloud and edge right. compute. How does your operation system manage that? So that means that it becomes application, it needs to be application aware, right? And it also needs to be a proximity aware. Which edge cloud, at what geography, at what point am I going to do the services? What level of latency is needed to manage the services? 
is it an AR VR service running at the edge or is it just a normal other service where you don't need that level of latency? All that needs to be part of your operations management system. Also, because these are enterprise offers that we talk about, it needs to also be SLA managed, full visibility. Okay. Your closed loop operations, which means fulfillment as well as assurance, and obviously be able to do intelligently provide decision-making capability. So AI or advanced analytics, all of that become a very sure. important part of it. <clears throat> With all that in mind, tell us a bit about some of the work that Netcracker's doing with MEF to basically help SD-WAN customers take advantage of this vision. In fact, we are doing a bunch of different things with MEF, and I think MEF is taking a really good step in the right direction to automate some of these things which are bespoke right now. It's not really standardized. Okay. Um, our POC, which is here, we are doing MEF, is where we are providing multi-level SD-WAN choices to the end customers. So. It's not just one operator coming with one SD-WAN offering, but an operator coming with multiple SD-WAN offerings. So we are working with SD-WAN solutions from NEC, SD-WAN solutions from Versa, from Silver Peak, all of that. So you have choices as an enterprise. I don't like this vendor, I pick that. I don't like that vendor, I pick that. Depending on the capacity, depending on thresholds, all these things. Right. Not on white boxes, on universal CP solutions, okay. which is provided by Adva. And then you can have mix and match value-added applications coming from a digital marketplace that we provide as part of NetRacker Business Cloud. So you can mix and match security, whatever security you want. You don't have to be tied to one security vendor saying that your SD-WAN only works with X vendor, not really. You can have a series of security vendors, series of WAN accelerators, series of other uh, vendors that you can mix and match as part of it. And orchestration plays a very critical role to make that you know, seamless experience uh, for the end users. So, in that context, um, a lot of the API stuff that MEF is doing around Presto, some of the uh, northbound stuff which is around uh, the Legato APIs and others, there's a lot of, uh, lot of work that's going on. Um, and NetCracker is a key contributor to many of these initiatives. Ari Banerjee, NetCracker Technology, thanks for the insights and the update. Thank you so much, thank you very much.